If Optimus can watch videos, YouTube tutorials, how-to guides, or everyday instruction clips, and then learn from those videos the same way a human does, then something truly revolutionary happens. Suddenly, you don't just have a robot that follows commands. You have a machine that can learn almost anything. That single idea may be the most important thing Elon Musk has ever said about humanoid robots. Not because it sounds futuristic, but because it completely changes what robots can become. Right now, people keep asking the wrong questions. They ask how fast a robot can run. How much weight it can lift. How high it can jump. Those questions already belong to the past. Chinese robots can already do backflips. Others can box, dance, sprint, or play ping pong. It looks impressive on stage, but it doesn't answer the question that actually matters. The real question is much simpler and much harder. Can a robot walk into your kitchen, look around, understand what it sees, and do something useful without being told every single step? Can it learn the way humans learn? Not through endless lines of hard-coded instructions, but by watching, copying, failing, correcting itself, and improving over time? That is why the idea of a humanoid robot learning directly from video has shaken the entire robotics industry. For decades, robots were powerful but fragile. They worked perfectly inside factories, behind safety cages, in environments designed specifically for them. The moment anything changed, lighting, object placement, human behavior, the robots failed. Homes are messy. Kitchens are chaotic. People are unpredictable. Reality is not clean or controlled. So how will Tesla Optimus Gen 3 reshape the market in 2026? What breakthrough factors will finally convince people to trust humanoid robots inside their homes, hospitals, and daily lives? Welcome to Future Drive Hub. Before we go any further, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications right now. Videos like this take deep research and careful analysis, and you don't want to miss the next update, because things are moving fast. While the excitement around Tesla Bot Gen 2 has not even cooled down yet, Elon Musk has already confirmed that Optimus Gen 3 will debut in the first quarter of next year. According to Musk, this version will be capable of doing everything from cooking and cleaning to assisting and caring for people. He claims it will be so human-like that many people will struggle to tell whether they are looking at a robot or a real person. And the most shocking part is not just what it can do, but how much it will cost. Musk has repeatedly suggested a price target of around $30,000. That puts Optimus in the same price range as a car, but instead of sitting in your garage most of the day, this machine would work daily inside your home. Musk has also stated that Optimus Gen 3 could perform around 3,000 useful tasks. That number alone is staggering. But what really surprised everyone is what he said next. Even before Gen 3 has officially launched, Elon Musk has openly announced plans to mass-produce Optimus Gen 4 and even Gen 5. That means Gen 3 is not the end goal. It's only a stepping stone. If Optimus Gen 3 can reliably perform 3,000 tasks, that strongly suggests Optimus Gen 5 could double that number, potentially reaching 6,000 tasks with accuracy approaching human levels. And these are not just basic chores. These robots are expected to work in homes, hospitals, hotels, warehouses, and industrial environments. For the past three years, Elon Musk has made bold promises about the Tesla bot. Not just to excite fans, but to convince investors, employees, and the general public that Tesla is much more than a car company. Musk is openly betting Tesla's long-term future on humanoid robots designed to help with everyday life. Cooking. Cleaning. Assisting children. Supporting the elderly. He has said on multiple occasions that Optimus could one day outsell every other Tesla product in history. That includes Model Y, Model 3, Cybertruck, and everything else combined. Whether you believe that or not, the fact that he keeps repeating it tells you how serious Tesla is about this project. During the third quarter earnings call, all attention was focused on one thing, Optimus version 3. Musk hinted that the new model could appear as early as the first quarter of next year. But what really caught people's attention was how he described it. He said the next Optimus will not even look like a robot. It will look like a person wearing a robot suit. 
so realistic that you might need to poke it just to be sure it isn't human. That statement alone says a lot. It means this version is not just about performance, but refinement. Every surface, every joint, every contour is being carefully designed to hide wires, motors, and mechanical parts. Musk has also hinted that its movements will be so smooth and natural that people could easily mistake it for a real person at a distance. Rumors are already spreading that Tesla bought Gen May 3rd feature an OLED facial display, Grok voice integration, and extremely human-like hands. Elon Musk has not confirmed these details, but he has also not denied them. And when Musk avoids denying something, it usually means the idea is not far from reality. For now, Musk has clarified that the robot shown in recent demonstrations is still Optimus version 2.5 and even that version has shocked audiences. It performed fluid kung fu-style movements so realistic that some people attending the Tron Aries premiere genuinely thought it was a human performer in costume. It has also been seen holding microphones on stage, and even serving food at the Tesla diner. These moments are not random stunts. They are confidence signals. Tesla is showing that Optimus can operate around people, in public spaces, without cages or barriers. But according to Musk's long-term roadmap, things get even more ambitious. Tesla aims to eventually produce around 10 million units of Optimus Gen 4 and potentially 100 million units of Gen 5. Most people find those numbers impossible to believe, and honestly, that skepticism is understandable. However, if Optimus Gen 3 delivers even half of what has been promised, we may be standing at the beginning of the biggest shift in robotics history. That said, Tesla has also admitted that Optimus Gen 3 is facing challenges. The robot was originally expected to appear at Tesla's major November event, but that debut was pushed into the first quarter of next year. The main reason comes down to one word, hands. During internal discussions, Musk openly admitted that bringing Optimus to market is extremely difficult. He specifically pointed out that the hands and forearms are proving to be harder to engineer than almost the entire rest of the robot combined. Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized that the hands are the most complex and expensive part of Optimus. If a single robot costs around $50,000 to manufacture, Musk estimates that the hand technology alone could account for 50 to 60% of that cost. And this is where most humanoid robots fail. Many robots can run, jump, and perform athletic tricks. But they cannot peel an orange, fold laundry, crack an egg, or safely hold a glass without crushing it. Dexterity, not strength, is the true barrier between robots and real-world usefulness. Cooking is not a single action. It is a chain of decisions, movements, and judgments that humans perform almost without thinking. You open the fridge, recognize ingredients, judge freshness, choose tools, adjust grip strength, control heat, and stay balanced while handling sharp and hot objects. Most robots completely fail at this level of complexity. They are either too rigid or too slow. That is why Optimus Gen 3 is not being trained like traditional robots. Instead of rigid programming, Optimus learns the way humans do. It watches videos, instructional content, demonstrations recorded from real people. The robot breaks down what it sees into sequences of actions, hand angles, pressure levels, object orientation, and timing. It then practices those actions millions of times inside a simulated environment before ever touching the real world. This method dramatically reduces risk. The robot fails safely in simulation, not in your kitchen. Once it reaches near-perfect accuracy, the skill transfers into the physical robot. This approach is what Tesla refers to as real-world AI. Unlike factory robots that only work in controlled environments, Optimus is designed for chaos, variation, and unpredictability. Every home is different. Every kitchen layout changes. Objects move. Lighting shifts. People interrupt. Optimus Gen 3 is built to adapt instead of freeze. It can vacuum, mop, wipe tables, fold laundry, organize rooms, and even mow lawns. It scans rooms in 3D, identifies clutter, and chooses tools accordingly. Vacuuming for Optimus is not brute force suction. It is strategy. The robot recognizes debris types, adjusts suction power, 
avoids objects like keys or toys, and places them aside instead of swallowing them. These details matter because one mistake can destroy trust instantly. Here's where things get truly powerful. When one optimist learns a new skill, that knowledge is shared across the entire network. If one robot learns how to fold a shirt perfectly or cook a specific meal, every other optimist gains that ability almost instantly. This is collective learning on a global scale. Before we continue, if you are enjoying this deep dive into the future of humanoid robots, take a second to hit the subscribe button and like the video. It helps future Drive Hub grow and ensures you don't miss the next big update coming very soon. Optimus is also designed to integrate naturally into human life. Its voice, tone, and behavior can be customized. Over time, it learns user preferences, reducing the need for repeated instructions. With Grok voice integration and a facial display, communication becomes natural instead of robotic. A simple glance at dirty dishes, a hand gesture, or a casual voice command can signal what to do next. Optimus does not just recognize objects by shape. It understands function. A knife is not just metal. It is a cutting tool. A pan is for cooking. A towel is for cleaning. This functional awareness allows real-time decision-making instead of blind execution. For over a year, Optimus has reportedly trained up to 16 hours a day at Tesla's Palo Alto facility. The training loop never stops. Observe. Simulate. Correct. Execute. Improve. This is not traditional automation. This is adaptation. Elon Musk has been very clear about one thing. Optimus is not a side project. It may become the most important product Tesla has ever built. Cars are revolutionary, but they are limited by production cycles, ownership timelines, and replacement rates. A family buys a car once every several years. A humanoid robot could work every single day. That is why Musk believes Optimus could generate profits far beyond Tesla's automotive business. A robot that fails at simple tasks is worthless. One fall, one broken dish, one unsafe movement can end consumer trust instantly. That is why balance and recovery matter more than flashy tricks. Those kung fu demonstrations were not about fighting. They were about control. Small recovery steps, posture correction, and stability under motion. These are life-saving skills in crowded homes, hospitals, and factories. Optimus constantly predicts failure before it happens. Using vision, torque sensors, and motion prediction, it evaluates whether the next movement is safe. If not, it adjusts in real time. This is the same philosophy behind Tesla's self-driving system. Tesla is not building two separate AIs. It is building one unified real-world intelligence. Every mile driven by Tesla cars contributes to the same perception system Optimus uses. Every unusual edge case improves both platforms. Once Optimus is deployed at scale, the learning accelerates. Every task, mistake, and environment feeds back into the system. One robot improves, all robots improve. One of the most immediate use cases is elder care. Aging populations are growing rapidly while caregiver shortages increase. Optimus can assist with mobility, medication reminders, hazard detection, and emergency response. It does not replace human connection, it supports it. For seniors who struggle with technology, Optimus becomes a universal interface. Voice commands replace apps. Lights, calls, temperature, and safety systems become simple.in child care. Optimus will not replace parents, but it can help. Reading stories. Practicing math. Monitoring safety. Repeating lessons without frustration. Parents can supervise everything remotely. Many people fear robots taking jobs or becoming dangerous. These fears are shaped by science fiction. Today's robots do not have desires or independent goals. They operate within human-defined boundaries. Automation has replaced tasks before, and society adapted. Robots handle repetitive and physically demanding work, freeing humans for creativity and innovation. In the near term, Optimus will not replace low-cost labor overnight. It will be expensive and limited at first. The real challenge is not replacement. It is cooperation. 
So when Elon Musk promises Optimus Gen 3 while already talking about mass-producing Gen 4 and Gen 5, is this visionary leadership or calculated hype? That is for you to decide. Share your opinion in the comments below. Thanks for watching Future Drive Hub. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update coming in just two days. Like, share, and turn on notifications. Your support means everything. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.